And welcome back. I'm just taking old Mojo Jojo back to the You house. seriously named him Mojo Jojo when you could have named him Diddy Kong? That's a much better name. Yeah. Besides, Mojo Jojo was a chimpanzee. True. That's not a chimpanzee. That's a Mesopithecus. Uh, One of our ancestors, really. That's D-I-D-I, right? D-I-D-D-Y. Hell, he's even the right coloration to be Diddy Kong. True. Hmm. Bring an old Diddy Kong back home. Yeah, yeah, and when we get a big old uh, Gigantopithecus, we'll name him Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. Have you seen where the cat went? Yeah, he's on the mantelpiece. Silly cats. Yeah, here, let me deal with the cat. I don't know where my other cat is either. Why are you. Ow! Shit. It's on Fuck. your face. Damn it. I'm talking about oh. Moon. I don't know where Moon went. Oh, Charlie, you should not have passed out. Why? <laughs> you motherfucker. Because I can. <laughs> That's why. Mm. Oh, I'm stealing your cake, too. I mean, the cake is a lot, so... I guess this whole episode is going to be me sleeping. Probably. With me crouching up and down on top of you. Remember everybody, if you want to see more of this content where Alex um, silently molests my body while I am unconscious in a video game, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. At least comment. And tell us that you want to see more of that. So he knows to sit there and be more prepared. You dropped me. Yeah, I did. You dragged me by my arm. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Why? I don't know why this doesn't kill me. Doesn't kill you because you're a ragdoll. Remember why people in car accidents who are drunk almost never fall, never die? Huh? Yeah, people who are drunk in car accidents almost never die. It's because their bodies are all limp and noodly. Mm. I did not know that. Yeah. I should go get drunk than drive. That would do. That would be so much better than my normal driving. Now severely injured, maybe, but <laughs> usually not dead. Please, people, do not drink and drive. I've got kids. Yeah, please don't. And Alex has a life. Yeah. That may one day involve a woman. God help us if that ever happens. That he may want to go home to. I, uh, mm. that, that's a stretch. That you'll ever find a woman that you want to go home to? Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. In in this time, I at, at this point, I am mostly ashamed of the entirety of our species. It would be very hard to find someone that I would not be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. So there's a well near the obelisk underwater. A whale. Yeah, it looks. What like does its head look like? I. It's over by the obelisk, and I'm on the fucking beach. The okay, big this... fish that's bigger than it's bigger than the megalodon. Oh, a fish. Oh, it looks more like a whale to me. Oh, by the way, did you see how much fiber I had? No, I didn't. Right, so you don't know if I had enough or not. Got it. Mm, I don't see a whale. No, do you see a big fish in the water? It's on the no. other. It's on the other side of the isle, obelisk island from our house, though. So. I see a big old megalodon. Oh damn! It's 
Pteranodon is low on stamina. Ooh, that almost ended badly. I almost landed in the water. Alright, uh, what can I remove from the smithy? Um, completed <gasps> items would be what I would recommend. As in, items that we crafted in the smithy and just sort of left in there. Like a shotgun? Uh, no, that's a blueprint. Oh. Well, it takes up an entire stack. Uh, yes, it does, but guess what? It can only be crafted in there. Uh, how about you remove the element dust, the pipes? Um, so do I need to put these blueprints back in? Put the blueprints back in? Take the structures out. Actually, that's not a blueprint when you put back in. That's a saddle. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And then the glove. Oh, the gloves are blueprint. But okay. You know not... what? Here's, here's a valuable lesson for I'll you. Throw that out. What? Okay. So everything that is a blueprint has a grayed out background. Okay. And at the top, it'll say damage percent. Yeah. That is how you tell the difference between a blueprint and an item. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, what was you... the saddle for, though? The saddle is for a Quetzal. I just made it. Takes a second to craft. No, this Ascendant Equus Saddle. Ascendant Equus Saddle. Yes, that's for a horse. So don't throw that away. No, definitely do not. Why are you throwing all of this perfectly good stuff away? Okay, then. So, we have our Quetzal saddle. Yep. Uh, let me just put these structures in here for now. So, um... Let me open up the dino scanner and find a Quetzal. Let's see. Q R A Quetzal. Click to search. So here are our pickings right now. A level 75, a level 25. Level 15, and level 15. I'd recommend the 75. Oh, wait. Let me uh, make sure there isn't a tech Quetzal that's better out there. No, there are no tech Quetzals. Okay. So, yeah. Level 75 would probably be our best bet. And it is currently 5,267 uh, units from us. All right. So, what I need you to do is to throw me your crossbow. But I like my crossbow. Charlie, of the two of us, I'm the one with the better aim. And all of your narco arrows. But I like all my Nork arrows. Let me be perfectly clear. One of us has to shoot this thing. The other... Okay, I didn't need that. I didn't either. Well, you may. I've got a sparkler on me. I'm fine. Fine. Okay, then. So, um... Let me take a look here. Uh... Let me open up the dodo decks that will tell us here. Set a level 75. <laughs> yeah, dodo decks is a very useful tool for determining the uh, difficulty of taming an animal. 
Okay, we will need five raw prime meat, and it will take eight minutes and 31 seconds to knock it out. Or rather, to tame it once we have it knocked out. Now let me see how many arrows it'll take. Uh, with a 100% crossbow, hitting only at the head, it will take 18. Otherwise, it will take 54. Okay, I think we have enough for that. Provided we manage to keep up with it. Yeah. So... Where are you? Inside of the fridge. Okay, you're looking for food, aren't you? I've already grabbed some food. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose I'll just keep this stack of cooked meat. Oh, I've got a stack of cooked meat on me, too. <laughs> okay, then. So, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Yep. We're going to get on this tapage. By the way, you may want to bring your fur armor, if you can. All right. Uh, I think I'll put it in here. Uh, fur, uh, fur, fur. Alright, do I need to put it on now? No, just bring it with you, if it's not too heavy for the bird. I mean, I ain't got hardly anything on me. Which bird? Actually, you know what, let, let, hold on. Let me, let me drop some stuff inside, so that I'll be able to, um... Yeah, this one will work. Yeah, I got some stuff I don't necessarily need here. Mm hmm. No, I'll keep that. Okay. Yeah, uh, on the top of Jara. I'm trying to find him. Up oh, there he is. Walk up and hit E, Charlie. Come on. Okay. So, I, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to fly us over there. We're going to locate this bird in the sky. And then, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to land. We're going to get on it. And we are going to actually have a very difficult time with this. Especially with my flying. Especially with your flying, but the main reason I say we're going to have a difficult time with this is... That was did remember it. awful close to our house. Uh, yeah, he's over there by that blue drop. So, anyway, as I was saying, uh, we're going to land. I'm going to get into the passenger seat, and we are somewhat overburdened, if I'm being honest. So uh, I've got to... hardly nothing on me, so... Oh, look, there's a Quetzal right here. Here, in front of us. Did I ever play War Thunder on my channel? Charlie, look. It, it's dark. Oh, this thing? Yes, this. Still can't. Take out your torch. Oh. Yes, this big bird. We're taming one of these. Okay. Why'd we do this at night? Well, because by the time we get over there, it'll probably be nearing day. Okay. By the way, there is a slight chance we're about to be... You're actually about to be killed. I'll Why? be just fine. Why am I well, gonna be killed? we have to land here, and it's not exactly a safe place to land. Alright, so I did upload some videos of War Thunder. You should probably go look, watch my videos of War Thunder before having me fly a bird for you. I always remembered you were a very shitty pilot when it came to GTA 5. That was GTA 5.
That game was it, terrible. When, well, not in terrible What are you flying, talking just, about? I was an expert flyer in that game. I was great. Yeah, but the flying mechanics just weren't the that good. The flying mechanics were great. Yeah. I, I'm not good at that kind of flying mechanic. Oh, so in other words, it wasn't the game that wasn't great, it was you that wasn't great. Well, no shit. Oh, I've never wow. been a good flyer. Ever. Well, well. I've always been really bad at flying. I've always been so much better at land units. Yeah, well. Pretty much, if it doesn't fly as uh, go it goes where I look and that's it, then I will have a hell of a time doing it. I could drive well. a car. And I could drive a car without it doing that. I cannot fly like that. It has to go where I'm looking. And until then, we will come back whenever we are at this dinosaur. Bye.